Welcome to the fourth lecture in mechanics of materials. In the last class we saw about how a vector can be transformed due to a transformation of basis vectors and then we saw that force is a vector and we saw how we infer that force is a vector through an experiment. So, coming back to the concepts and relations in mechanics, there are four concepts which we are used in mechanics which are force, displacement, strain and stress of this we have looked at one concept which was force, today we will look at the other concept which is the displacement. To understand displacement you should understand how we model body in mechanics. So, let us look at what body is, what is a body, how is it idealized in mechanics. For us body is a collection of ordered countable or countless particles. First here there are two keywords one is ordered and the other one is countable or countless we have to understand what they mean next what do you mean by ordered a set is said to be ordered if you can establish that one element is before or after the other element or there is an order to the in the way in which the elements of the set are arranged. For example, let us consider 5 points, one, two, three, four, and 5, we can say the position of points Two to five with respect to the point one, right? We can say the point two is above point one. You can say that point two is above point one. Point three is to the right of point one. Point five is to the left of point one, and point four is below point one. Similarly, you can say that there is a point uh, six which is in front of point one or point 0.7 which is behind the point 1. Okay. So, likewise you can say that these points are a relationship between them which is what ordering of the points mean. Okay. That is the particles in the body have an order meaning that they have a relationship between them in front of, behind, top, bottom, right or left. Okay. So, that is what we mean by an ordered set of particles. Next, to understand what is the difference between countable and countless, countable means it can be set of integers from say 1 to 10,000. You can count the number of integers from 1 to 10,000, but you cannot count the set of real numbers from say 0 to 1. This is an example of a countless set. Okay. A set of integers itself is also a countable set just like set of real numbers alone is also a countless set that is you cannot isolate one number or one element of the set. Okay. For example, if you think of set of rational numbers you have 2 by 3 or 1 by 3 
alone as rational numbers the ratio of two integers alone a rational number but there exists a irrational number between any two rational numbers and hence real numbers is a countless set whereas set of rational numbers or irrational numbers or countable set even though the number of elements in that set might be infinite okay so there's a difference between infinity countable and countless which you have to remember so a body is said to be a collection of countable or countless particles where this countable or countless comes is whether you are assuming a body as a discrete made of discrete particles or whether you are assuming it as a continuum okay so if it is countable the body is said to be discrete and if it is countless the body is said to be a continuum these assumptions of discrete or continuum is for convenience sake for example when you want to find the strain or when you want to find the gradient of displacement i have to be able to take the derivatives then i can't leave the elements of a set when i take the do the limiting process and hence you assume in those cases the body to be a continuum in this course since you are assuming the body as deformable bodies and you want to compute the changes in length along any direction for any length of the line element we are going to take derivatives of the displacement field hence we assume that the body is a continuum or is made of countless number of particles so in particular we will model it as a set of three real numbers a body consisting uh, body will be mapped on to a set of three real numbers okay so uh, this is a physical representation of the body okay so now we understood that body is a ordered set of particles which may be countable or countless now how do you represent a body mathematically is using a cartesian set notation wherein this body b would be written as a cartesian set of three real numbers x y and z 0 less than x less than 1 0 less than y less than 1 0 less than z less than 1 if I am thinking of body to be a cube centered about with one of the corner points at the origin ok. So, with the one of the corner points at the origin if this is 0, this is 1 this is also say I am not drawing it to scale say this also is 1 this represents this body on the other hand I can write another body B star as same Cartesian set of x belonging to 0 1 y belonging to 0 1 and z belonging to 0 1. What this means is this means the 8 corner points of the cube namely 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 so I have 8 points here so this body would be this would be z x and y it will be these points it will be these points ok. 
okay will be the corner points of the cube alone is this body B, B star okay. So, what is the meaning of this notation is I take one element from the set X, one element from the set Y, one element from the set Z and form this uh, three elements X, Y and Z that is I take one element from the set X, one element from the set Y, one element from the set Z and form this set which is one element from X, Y and Z and form all permutation combinations of all the elements in those three sets that is what the meaning of this Cartesian set means here it is discrete because it elements of x y and z are integers having values only 0 or 1 whereas here it is continuous where it can take any number from 0 to 1 for x y and z. So, in this case this entire region is this entire region is what the body is all this region is the entire region occupied by the cube is what this body represents okay this is an example of countable set a discrete representation of body this is an example of countless set a continuum representation of the body okay so now how many particles are there in this countless set infinity of them now say I apply a force and this body elongates into some other uh, region for example let us say this body elongates to occupy this green region ok body expanded to occupy this region now then I will represent this green body as a Cartesian set of x comma y comma z where x varies from it still varies from 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1.5 say y varies from 0 less than y less than or equal to 0.9 say and z 0 less than z less than or equal to 0.9. Okay. Now, we will say that the mapping between this B and this B let us say this is beta bar we will say the mapping between beta and beta bar is 1 to 1 you should not get confused that if it is 1 to 1 the how does the volume preservation and all those things happen. Okay. The volume is not preserved clearly in this deformation what was a unit Q? now becomes a cube of volume uh, 0.81 into 1.5 okay so what we mean by a one to one mapping is not that each particle gets mapped on each element of the set gets mapped on to a one element in the uh, range of the mapping okay but it is not that it is you have to recognize the difference between a countable and a countless set in a countable set i'll say that if this body is mapped on to there this 0 0 maps on to 0 comma 0 comma 0 this will map on to 1.5 comma 0 comma 0 and so on and it is only those points that gets displaced on the other hand when it is a countless set every point gets displaced in the body it is not that the volume will be preserved in such a mapping even though the mapping is 1 to 1 ok that is that is because these are two infinities you cannot compare the two infinities mathematically in a precise manner ok ok. So, now we understood what a body is now let us understand two configurations of a body that is I, I assign at a particular time I find what is the length of the body, what is its cross sectional area, where are its particles and so on and then I apply a load the body deforms and then it goes to some other configuration ok. For example, the green body that I showed in, in the in this example is after application of a force this one configuration and the black body beta is another configuration ok. 
So, we will assign names for these configurations.